Hey, Brad Blackman here. I'm actually doing something different today. This is not your normal video post from me. I'm not talking about painting. Uh, today I'm talking about something different. I'm talking about blogging. Yeah, that's kind of different for me, but I'm excited about it and I think you will be too at the end of this in just a couple of minutes. Now, um, if you're like me, you've been blogging for a while, eight or nine years maybe, and uh, you, uh, every now and then you hit a wall and you're just like, what am I going to write about next? You might do well for about six months, never miss a week, or whenever you want to post. Normally for me it's week, it's weekly. I try to have a new post out every Tuesday, but every now and then I hit a wall. What am I going to write about next? And, uh, but, but recently I discovered something that changed all that and I'm not worried about that what am I going to write about treadmill that I have run up against for all these years. And I want to tell you about it. Uh, recently, I saw a video from Pat Flynn of SmartPassiveIncome.com and he talked about how he very quickly creates a very rough first draft for a book. And what he does is he takes post-it notes, or sticky notes, to use the generic name, but he'll take sticky notes and spread them all out on a table, and right in the middle, usually in a different color, is the topic for a particular chapter. And everything else related to that topic will be all scattered around it. So he'll brainstorm, and it's really kind of a mind map process. It's, it's uh, a mind map is a visual uh, thinking tool where you, you might write something down in the middle and then do branches out. Well, it, th this is really the same process. You just put a post-it note down and then more post-it notes all around it and then you can rearrange it. Th that's the advantage of, of post-it notes. You can rearrange the uh, content that you have. You don't have to erase anything and rewrite it. But it got me thinking about how I can use this same approach to blogging. I thought, you know, this would work really well on a blog. So what I did was I went on the WordPress back end for my, for my blog and I pulled up all the categories. Now, I have a lot of categories. I've got about 20, which is probably too many. But I looked at all my categories and wrote everything down on one post-it note, about 20 or so categories, and then I added some more here, so uh, it's probably too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough, because I can always pare things down and take things out that don't fit. So once I wrote down all these categories, I got out my Moleskine notebook, Moleskina, if you're Italian, and I wrote down the topics, uh, or the, the categories, and under each category, I put down about 10 bullet points and brainstormed different ideas for each category on my blog. So, what, so now, if I've got one topic of Let's say I want to talk about color on my blog. I have about 10 different ideas that I can choose from. And what I'll do is, ahead of time, pick out what I'm going to blog about for a particular month. Since I blog once a week, that's four. I really only need four. But it, let's, let, let's, let's do a little experiment. Let's do a little experiment. What if you have 12 topics on your blog? That may be a little much, but let's just say you have 12 broad categories. And if you come up with 10 different things that you can write about in each category, just do the math. 12 times 10, 120. You have, you potentially have 120 blog posts already mapped out. All you have to do is just write them. 
Now, what I'm going to do is sort of more of an editorial calendar approach that a magazine would have. If you pick up a magazine, like uh, especially a, uh, a design magazine, uh, communication arts, for example, each issue will be about a particular theme. It might be about design in a certain region, or it'll be about interactive design, or it'll be about... Uh, uh, film, uh, like uh, TV commercials or something. It, it, each issue will have a particular theme. You very rarely have a generic theme now. Then within that, you've got columns, but that's because it's a magazine. It's got a lot of content. Now, unless your blog is a magazine-style blog, which those kind of blogs have something every day. There's something all, coming out all the time, multiple times a day, but if it's just you, you really only need, at, 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 at minimum, one post a week. So if you've got 120 blog topics to write about, and you post once a week, like I do, that is over two years. 120 weeks, that's more than two years. So this for me is just mind-blowing and it's really exciting because this takes a lot of the scariness of planning my blog. It, it takes all that away. So I know what I'm doing. In, in, in the month of May 2015, this month, I'm going to be blogging about blogging. I know that's kind of meta, but I'm excited about it. I've got a lot of ideas and I can't wait to share some more things with you in the next few weeks and I want to see what you come up with so feel free to share below in the comments and I want to know what all you're coming up with so that's it for me today Brad Blackman over and out